I'm Ash. And I'm Jamie. Earlier today, we presented our findings from our research and our study on UK seabirds. Around the UK, we saw a variety of different seabirds, and we've taken a note of what species we've seen and where they've come from. We're also going to look at some of the threats that face our British seabirds. On our circumnavigation of the UK, starting in Folkestone, we have gone round clockwise and seen a huge variety of gull species, gannets and fawns, and even white-tailed sea eagles. We looked at existing information on the distribution of British seabirds and compared that to our own observations during the voyage. Other scientists on the Darwin 200 team have been looking at macroplastics in our oceans. We find this quite concerning because we've seen gannets using plastics as nest building material. We know that a lot of birds die from plastic congestion and entanglement. There are also other factors that put pressure on seabed populations. Climate change has had a knock-on effect on important prey species such as sand eels. Accidental introductions of rodents and cats have devastated seabird populations in the UK. But fortunately, measures have been put in place to eradicate rats from some of our off-lying islands. We have a number of recommendations for the global voyage in the future. Structured and casual observations at sea can build useful data for conservation organisations and seasonal distribution of seabirds. We can also supplement this information through drone surveys of nesting sites. We both have highlights from the voyage. Mine was caring for and rescuing a number of Manx shearwaters that crash landed on our deck at night when we were off the coast of Lundy Island. Mine was visiting Bass Rock. We saw hundreds of gannets plummeting into the sea to feed. Thank you.